What's going on, True Combat Kings? How you doing there? Like usual, it's your host, Rory187, and I'm accompanied today with my good man, the President of TCK. Mr. President, how you doing today? Doing pretty good, thanks for asking, Ray. How about yourself? I'm alive, I'm well. Accompanied by our Vice President, Vice President of TCK, Jerry Dan. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing great, doing great. Good, man. And, of course... As always, our president on Gems of War, as long as our platinum paid member, TCK Kokomo. How are you doing today, brother? Doing really good. How about yourself, man? Uh, it's a pleasure to be seeing you guys. Well, you guys, it's a pleasure to be here. We're all looking forward to getting into your news. What do you say we all go ahead and get on into it? Let's do it. First thing first, I, I guess, uh, it has been determined that Poker Face does not have herpes. His dick is just sitting. More on that topic coming later. Anyways, <laughs> with Gems of War, <laughs> uh, no, nothing really uh, major has changed um, aside from the positions inside the guild that it was last week, so if you haven't checked it, check it, and if you don't see your name, well, you're probably kicked out due to inactivity. Um, as far as the statues go, try and work on the lower, um, lower leveled ones. I don't know what the deal is with the red, but <laughs> whatever with that. People are obsessed with the red but, um, but I am seeing a lack of participation in guild wars, so make sure you get that done. Um, I've noticed that if you do it on the day of, like, each day that it is given, uh, that's what the score is based on, and it gives you a time frame of when it ends. So whatever score we have by the end of day one, that's our score whether we win or, win or lose. So make sure you try and keep up on that. Here, here. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Try and keep up a good job. Keep up with your uh, kingdoms, make sure you level them up, as well as your defensive team. So. Over to you, Ray. Well, my friend, uh, me personally, you know, I have one thing to say about Gems of War. That game is on some bullshit right now, man. I swear to God, I have spent like about maybe, uh, what, about 200 fucking gems, event keys, at least a couple of hundred thousand glory wings, and my team still look like Pinocchio and his sidekicks, all right? Just getting their ass kicked by everybody. A strong wind came by and knocked my team out the other day. So do you have any advice on how to get better cars? <laughs> because uh, as I said, dude, I'm driving a magic school bus of uh, gym cards. Okay, none of them are worth it now. Well, your main goal with the um, actual diamonds or gems, um, you want to try and get that armor that ups the amount of gold experience and whatnot <clears throat> for your character. But after that, you save up 450 gems. You can unlock 50 gem chests, and with that you can get um, like four time, uh, four times chance for legendaries. I think it's two times for mythic or something. Hmm. So when you do that, when you save up, you'll get like 50 cards, a shit ton of them being good. Um, so I would definitely push that and make sure you're leveling up all your cards to the highest it can be, ascending them if you're able to, and uh, um, and make sure that if you're using them, pay attention to the traits with all the trait stones and whatnot. So those will also help in battle. Thank you, brother. Thank you. I think that's some good advice, not only for myself, but for other members of that game as well. All right. So, TCK, how are you guys doing today? I know I'm still kind of absent right now, but I'm working on getting back home. One thing I just want to say, you know, kind of outside of my usual topics... Is I'm very proud of you guys, and I'm not just speaking about Halo, I'm not just speaking about Clash of Clans, or even Gems of War for that matter, but as a community, we truly have made some amazing strides throughout 2017, and I just cannot help but sit here and just pat you guys all on the back and let you guys all know how proud I am of you guys, and that's from the bottom of my heart. But enough mussy shit, so let's go ahead and get on topic with the rest of the dumb shit, shall we? Uh, next game is going to be Summoner's Wars. Now, you guys, just so you know, this week, they're giving away a badass 
card you only have all weekend it's going to be a level three wind witch now she's not exactly super easy to get but she's not as hard as last week's card god knows i'm going to encourage you if you do play this game it's a level three which is a pretty decent card and it's already a rare one so try to get you a couple of those this weekend stack them together level them all up and you'll have your pretty monstrous chick on your hands that that would be just amazing trust me now for other tck members i've heard it through the grapevine that we have had other recent members to the community who may be taking an interest in certain games such as tck on elder scrolls so we will be looking forward to working with these individuals and possibly rebranding these branches on these different game titles but i don't really have very much today that's about it what about you okay um well Hi. i mean in terms of those guys not too much one thing i will say is um on summoners war is just be sure that you're you're clicking on your little icons at the, at the side of your screen uh because there are some buildings on there that actually are really helpful like um uh, different buildings for mana stones and all that stuff um and to which some of them i had to click on the icons just even though i had them i you know i completely forget about the things in my inventory i even have this one thing right now that actually allows me to uh, allows my monsters to gain XP without me having to even do anything, which is helping me to max more monsters, which can be used either for material or evolution later on. So just be sure that you uh, check up on your notifications, your icons, what you're entitled to, rewards, etc. But that's everything in terms of those games. So we move on to Clash of Clans. And thank you for um, that last tip, again, game. That was you, really much appreciated. No problem, man. Just did my part. Um, but yeah, Clash of Clans, uh, build a base mega marathon is still going on. There's like 30 days left of it. Again, uh, it's a decrease in the gems for when you gem your loot timer, so you're able to get more, uh, um, get more loot quicker for less gems. For 30 days. We currently have an event right now, which is, uh, I want to say. Hasty balloons or something like that. Hasty spells and balloons at a discounted price. Uh, if you guys don't know how to air attack, my advice would be to start out um, generally either one star or a three star, depending on how well you use it. But it should never fail. Um, two hounds, maybe one in a CC. Several balloons, maybe a couple of minions to follow up. Um, several hate spells slash rage spells um, should be able to get you through the bases pretty quickly. So what's the order um, they should I put those down it's... again in? So there's different ways you could do it. Either you want to put down the... You either want to put down the hounds first, which personally I would not do. I would put down uh, the thick layer of balloons first on one side of the base, putting the hounds behind because the hounds are faster. So they will overtake the balloons and because hounds actually prioritize air defenses, they will keep them busy. So that's where you then want to get your haste spells or rage spells in, so those balloons can quickly get in and take those out. Um, if you're a Town Hall 10 or above, you may want to add a free spell in there, so you don't get gunned down by Inferno Towers, especially if they're multi-target, because that balloons. But as long as you're using the right spell placements and timing it properly, it obviously takes practice, you'll get at least a one star. Uh, there's a rare occurrence of two stars, but it's, it's usually one star or three star, and the better you get with it, the more three stars you're going to get. Um, again, if you get used to the strategy, not only is it good for war, it's also good for... Uh, uh, it's, all, it's also good for like um, the event and trophy pushing. Uh, some of the highest trophy pushes up in Legends League actually use that they got Lava Loonian, Hounds, Balloons, and Minions. Hmm. Um, other than that, I just want you guys to remember that we are still struggling in wars. We need to make sure that we're using our attacks. Um, and also just to let you guys know that on that note, if we can't get everyone using their attacks, we will be utilizing the new tool which has come to Clash of Clans, or which will be coming to Clash of Clans, which is actually five man wars literally a five five war 
Uh, we haven't seen this before, so we're pretty excited to see it. But if we can't get 14 with 10 using their attacks, we will be re revert, resorting to these five man wars. So please use your attacks if you're interested, because otherwise you won't be put in. And for all members on Clash of Clans, understand that as Black Shield, this is new information to me personally. I second the president's decision to utilize that, so we probably will not have much of a say so in the matter. But we probably will be doing five man war if you guys don't step your shit up. Please take his advice very seriously right now. Please. Sorry, game, but that's kind of cool. I'm looking forward to using that. Yeah, it's no problem. But at the end of the day, I mean, uh, I understand if you have work and whatnot, you know, there's been times where even I have not used both my attacks, but I've at least been able to use one. You know, just show your interest in the war, you know. It's only two attacks. If you can't be in the war, just opt out. It's, it's so easy as that. Yeah, ride the bench. Um, yeah, but that is, um, that's pretty much everything for Clash of Clans. Before we move to Halo, does anyone else have anything on Clash of Clans? I do. I have one thing I'd like to say on Clash of Clans. How oh, that That's it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Do the wizard. <laughs> anyway. Wizard. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Anyway, moving on to Halo 5. We have a few oh, wait, topics on uh, Halo 5 this week. So... I am hmm? so sorry. Kokomo, hey. Yo, what up? Um, I don't know if we announced this yet on the news, you guys, but we do have enough official members active on a game called Tap Titans 2. Um, Kokomo will also be providing a weekly update on that as well, as he is also going to be seen as president on that game as well. So I hate to totally revert the show back a few steps, Kokomo, but before we go into Halo... Would you mind please going over Tap Titans for this week? How many bosses did we kill? What's going on over there? So far, the um, last time I checked, I know we're almost, we're almost hitting uh, the level 20 boss. Mm -hmm. And we've had LT for a zone. And we are doing to the And have 47 out of 50 and we haven't I haven't seen anybody leave uh, in a while so <clears throat> just make sure the um, the best strategy to keep leveling up keep leveling up your heroes and your pet uh, your taps will do fine up to a certain point but after that your taps will me be meaningless and the only reason for your taps is to get that pet damage on your on the titans. So just make sure you keep up with that. And use your um use your perks as well from the hand of Midas to um fire sword and all like that. It, no. it really helps out. And I have learned something about that actually. Um certain perks in fact this is just my opinion you guys. But when you're starting off and you're able to play most of the levels, so we'll just say that you're able to get through the first 200 levels. There will come a point where you're able to strictly get through it using your hero only. My advice is if you get to the point where you have to get your hero some help, you hire some extras on board so they can kind of, you know, throw the extra damage. They help out a lot. But if you wait until the very end where you cannot go any further, then you buy your Hand of Midas and like your Shadow Strike, that little fairy will drop so many more of them and they'll be actually useful to you compared to if you buy the Hand of Midas at level 87 when you're still getting like, Five billion gold for every monster you kill, which may sound like a lot, but trust us, it's not. Then that hand of Midas is going to add up to literally pennies on bullshit, and it will not be effective. It will not be worth very much to you because your hero could survive by itself. Wait till you get as high as you can go before you activate the hand of Midas. You will get so much more money every time you use it than if you just got at a lower level. Trust me. This is a personal experiment I've done over there. I mean, I don't know. What do you say, Kokomo? Have you ever tried that experiment for yourself? 
Like, wait until the very last minute to use that no, stuff? I... No, I haven't. And um, when I said when I say perks, like the ones that require the mana that consistently regenerate. Yeah, yeah. Um, but my, my, my strategy is using the, um, I think it's the Warcry, or just whichever one that does the uh, critical damage. I use uh, that one and the Hand of Midas. So I'm able to breeze through every single Titan within a second for each one. Yeah. And with the boss Titans, you gain even more gold. And at the level I'm at right now, because I'm up to like 1,100 and something God damn. right now. So, <laughs> so like, it's it's kind of like a slow incline with me. But where I get the critical and then the hand of Midas, I'm just, um, I'm, it's helping me get more and more. Um, at your level, I understand. Cause the the best tip that I can give everybody starting off, when you're, af at least after your first prestige, um, level up by the hundreds, because you can level up by ones, tens, and hundreds, or the maximum amount. You level up by the hundreds, and you'll start flying through the levels. I just do max. So like within within like twenty or thirty minutes for me, I was already at level five hundred. Just the way I was, I was sitting at. So. Well, you guys expect more from the Tap Titan table. We will be talking about that more frequently. Um, it's a free app, totally fun as hell to play, and the game seems damn near endless. There's over 900, excuse me, there's over 9,999 levels. So definitely look into that. All right, so game. I'm sorry to interrupt you, buddy, but we definitely had to kind of swing back by the store. Um, how's everything going on Halo for you guys, man? All right. Uh, so Halo has been going pretty well. Again, like I was saying, we have some uh pretty vital updates for you guys to take in. So please listen carefully. So we're gonna start with our member table with Green Shield. Um, Green Shield now has a unofficial official rank, if you will, uh, which was used back on Halo 4, which we are re, which we are bringing back on this system. Uh, this is this is going to be a prospect uniform. What this will consist of is the uh, the Rocky dog tags without the Rocky tag. Now. I want you guys to know that basically whenever you get a prospect, this is the uniform they need to wear. There will be a post of this in Commander Chat to make sure you understand it. Um, but I do want to emphasize that you must have a person go through this. There is no way around it, no negotiation. If you meet someone, there is no recruiting them straight in on the first day. They must go through this. Three to seven days is is your waiting period in that uniform so just want to re-emphasize that they must go through this there is no way around this three to seven days i have a question i hate to kind of put you on blast um, same for you mr vice president but i'm just kind of curious so what will happen if an individual has been friends with a certain individual for a lengthy amount of time or if the new potential prospect has been playing with TCK for over a week or so without even mentioning that they're ready to join or that it was thinking about it, how would that affect them in the prospecting system? The best way we would probably go about this, um, again, because this is a, a draft, there's always going to be updates to this system. Uh, the way we're probably going to go about this now is if a commander has someone and another commander or say two can vouch that this is a legit individual that and it is that what this commander is saying is true, they probably won't have to go through the same thing because uh, on one side of the stick, it's not fair to say that if someone's already been playing for a month, they have to go the extended time at the rate to join. As okay. long as the people they play with can vouch for them. However, if your name cannot be vouched for and you've just been met, then, yeah, you're going to be wearing that uniform for a little while. But this is all <laughs> based on the fact that we want you to, to play with us first. We don't yeah. want these guys just joining and not knowing what they're jumping into. 
Very, very smart. So I think so, that's actually uh, good. I mean, it's going to give the new member a chance to, as you said, kind of try TCK before they buy TCK, which is a really cool system. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, the only other thing I really want to say to you guys on the member table, um, make sure you guys are using the social club, uh, both parties and chat. I mean... It's always a good idea to have a social club party open because it means that everyone that's in the uh, in the club, mind you, I think we have like 900 people in there right now, will be able to see the fact that you're in that party. Um, if you guys can just imagine, if you have three or four different parties open that are consisting of all these different people that are in the club, they, they will be able to access and play with us. Um, that can massively increase potentials in terms of uh, prospects and new recruits. Um, but again, make sure you spend time with them if this is the case. But it is definitely a good tool to use. Um, yeah, and chat-wise, I'll tell you uh, personally, I've managed to pick up a few people that have uh, shown interest in different games like MCC, Halo 3, some H5. Some people have even asked what else we've been playing and, and have expressed interest in the games we play, like Gems of War. So, um... Definitely make sure that you reach out to these people, you know, try and use the chat, it's there for a reason. Um, because there's so many people in there, you're always going to get some form of a response. It's just very beneficial in terms of getting the TCK's name out there. True. And I do feel that this would be very, very beneficial for a recruiting tool. As you were just emphasizing on, we just have to make the most out of it. Absolutely, it's um, because at the end of the day, you know, um, it has so much potential, but we're not bringing that potential out with the uh, the tools we've been given. True. True. But, um, that pretty much uh, sums up member table. Um, on commander table, there's not too many things. Um, first off, I uh, just wanted to officially announce that the scholarship program is up and running. So, if you have people that are interested, uh, commanders, gold crowns, people that are interested, try and get them enlisted in the program and try and get them on it because uh, um, we are officially taking people. Um, and the other thing, and probably one of the most important things, is that as of today, the ballot box will be opening for the presidential election. So, make sure yeah. that you look out for that. More details to come. I have a question. But Who's all running for president this year? Uh, what's up? Who's running for president? Uh, I myself am running for president. Yay! And my vice president, TCK Day Dan, is also running for president. Yay! Okay. Well, who's running for vice <laughs> and president? And Yaw Yaw is running for vice president. Yay! <laughs> and I heard something about this dick named Hoopa. But anyway, yeah. Let's go. Oh my god, <laughs> But, um, yeah, that's everything on Halo. Awesome. You guys, so just remember, Yar is a good friend of Ray Ray's. Trust me. You guys want to vote for this kid. He's great. He's awesome. Um, he made one campaign promise. Like to hear it? So if you have any more questions about that, get Hello. in touch with Yar Yar. He's here for you, or at least so to, yeah. Anyway, vote for Yar Yar. Better call Yar Yar. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. All right, you guys. So, is there anything else in here that we need to talk about? Dan, what's for dinner? I'm doing fish. Fish. What kind of fish? <clears throat> Kale fish. Uh, you're right. No, you're you're right. right. <laughs> <laughs> it's 100% kale fish. It's kind of like a whiting. It's pro it's gonna be like a whiting, probably like a uh, like a boneless uh, whiting, um, lake trout kind of fish. Ah, some of that mahi tuna. You said Hawaiian. I'm just saying mahi and Hawaiian and tuna. And I don't know. I'm just going off a of, off a of limb here. Oh <laughs> man. Well, you guys, it's been a real pleasure hanging out with you guys like usual. TCK, I know I'm kind of distant right now, but I am trying to get back home to you. So until I do make it home, it's been a real pleasure, you guys. We love you guys. We'll see you guys next week here on TCK News.
Come on, Jesse. Let's go. Come on, stop target practice, man. Come on. Get your ass out the way. Now we can invite Darkie to do this as a fan party in the lobby.